taking money from our children and borrowing from China. To take out a credit card from the Bank of China in the name of our children, driving up our national debt that, that we are going to have to pay back. That's irresponsible. It's unpatriotic. The government's irresponsible spending is turning us into slaves. You might well literally lock us into chains, at least our children. We've got to deal with this big long-term debt problem or it will deal with us. And uh, it is a, uh, I think it's a, I think it is, it is a... I'm asking you, join us to stop this fiscal train wreck. Join us to protect our children from an inferior standard of living, from a crushing burden of debt and taxes. Okay, I don't believe in any of the tax cuts. I didn't want tax cuts for the rich. I didn't even want it for the middle class. Okay, because you know why? Because it puts a $400 billion hole in the budget and we just can't afford it. And as we discuss deficit reduction, which is clearly a major issue. For decades, we have piled deficit upon deficit mortgaging our future and our children's future. And the deficit thing is real and the debt thing is real. We are really in trouble on it at some point. Is there a need for comprehensive deficit reduction? The answer is not only yes, but hell yes. It's this debt that hangs over our head, a government that spends more money than it takes in. That's not sustainable. You know, you cannot cut taxes or increase spending unless you can pay for it. The math of federal spending does not add up. And we are spending money we do not have. We have a, a debt burden. Uh, that's uh, that's crushing us. Uh, it, to me, this is more of a moral issue. You can't steal from your kids and grandkids. Deficit. We think the deficit and the national debt are at a moral level. National debt is America's biggest problem.